Andy, what's your sense of what's taking the FDA so long? I mean, you know, you go on their website and the the you know, the case they make for these vaccines is extraordinary. But it's like, oh, by the way, in fine print, it's still an emergency authorization. I mean, what more information does the FDA need here? Because it does seem as if this is a remaining roadblock for some people and actually for some entities who would like to create a mandate. First of all, people need to know that emergency use authorization is not the equivalent of experimentation. It is there is a quite a standard even for emergency use authorization. Look, I think the most important question to me is not whether it takes a week or two or even a month longer, but but whether or not people will have faith that the FDA was able to act without political interference and without pressure. And that's indeed the case. Uh, the good news is they have more data on these vaccines than anything they've ever had to approve. The bad news is they have more data to look at than anything else, and they have to look at things like cold storage and everything else. So I, for one, hope that when the day comes, it makes a big difference, but it becomes very clear that the public trust was not undermined, and I think that's why the FDA takes its time, and I, I, I think the professionals there should take the time they need.